here I am again, round two of videos. One, because I happen to be in my house by myself, which is a rarity. This house is a big rarity, especially nowadays. So I have started this new thing right now. It sounded real stupid. I started a new way of going about reading. I don't know. Let me just explain it to you. So lately I have been taking a ton of trips. I've been little trips, not big ones. Everybody knows I went to Trinidad. But because my family is not in San Diego, I'm flying back and forth to San Jose, San Francisco, Sacramento a lot. And with birthdays and godchildren and cousins and nephews and nieces and brothers and mothers, I tend to be flying probably like at least once a month. So... I have the worst luck that you can possibly have with airplanes. <laughs> I, If there is a flight to be missed, I will miss it. If there is a storm coming that'll ground a plane, it's heading my way. So I am always stuck in an airport. So now, instead of buying magazines like OK and Sheep and things like that, I've been trying to buy books. And every time I have a flight anywhere, I buy a book from the airport um, bookstore. May not, it's not Barnes and Nobles or anything like that, but I realize that I don't read anything. I read no books, and I'm not going to pretend that it's my favorite thing to do, but I should at least get a handful, at least a dozen books that I have read that are like, um, don't have pictures in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I say that because like I have like makeup coffee table books and things like that that I've read through but never like any like decent novels or bestsellers or anything that would be on a list of books to read so this would be my third book that I'm reading The Shack I just picked it out of nowhere just pretty much reading the back of books and um, seeing what appeals to me and I don't know what appeals to me because I don't read enough to know what captures me but in this being the third book the first book was a book called Sarah's Key and it was a book it wasn't a true story, but it was based off of events of the Holocaust, which things like that really um, interest me a lot. Um, I can't say all history, but like just tragic history, of course. I mean, there's just no way that your heart can't be in a book like that. And um, it was a book about a little girl and her family who um, got picked up by French police in part of the roundups to the camps and she ends up locking her little brother in a cupboard thinking that they would be able to return home soon and her journey of returning home to unlock him out of this cupboard. I am the worst at describing books. Some of you probably even have read this book and saying oh my god that is the worst description of this book ever. It's a good book. Go on Amazon and I liked it. It was wonderful. It's definitely a tearjerker. And I read that book all the way back coming home from Trinidad. The next book that I got, which was called Hurry Down Sunshine, I think it says. Hurry, Come Back Down Sunshine or Hurry Down Sunshine. It was a book about um, a little, uh, not a little girl, but it was a book that was narrated by a father of a little girl who over a course of one summer went crazy pretty much not I hate to use that word but I can't remember what she was diagnosed with it, like a schizophrenia or something like that and she's like 15 young teenage girl who was just fine and over the course of two months over a summer she just went downhill until the point where she had to be hospitalized and the book is is through the father's eyes sounds awesome right sounds like that would be a great book I did not like the book. First of all, the idea of the book sounds really amazing, but I am not a person you can't keep my attention for very long. So I do not like books that take something so small and describe it throughout a chapter. Like, 
if it's hot that summer, I don't want two pages describing how hot it was that summer. I get it. Move on. Keep it moving. It was hot. The leaves were turned, you know, brown. I, I understand. I don't like books that describe nothing that I'm really going to be interested in at all. And that book was so... I would read through a whole chapter and not even know, like, really what that chapter was about. And so it wasn't my favorite. So I'm half, I'm not halfway, I'm like a third, one third of the way through The Shack. And The Shack is basically a book. I don't even know who that, William P. Young. And um, I can't really tell how it's going yet because it's, I'm so early into it, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's it's a book about a man through a father man's eyes, a father's eyes, a husband's eyes. He's everything in this book, but um, of a tragedy within his family that brought him away from God, and then um, I, it looks like it's going to be his journey back to God, but I can't really tell yet. So I'm not going to say anything. Just if you if you're really interested, just type it in and read the description. But um, it looks pretty good. So. Yes, Brie has been reading books. <sighs> Trying to further my education. Anyways, that's it. This is already a six minute, 30 minute, six minutes and 30 second video. So I'm going to let you guys be. My other one should be uploading. But yay, two videos. <sighs> I might even make another one if I get a wild hair. Bye.